Definitely a hot one. Paul, thank you. We do have some new developments tonight. In the case of that police canine that died in the back of a police vehicle, we do know from officials they believe this dog's death was heat-related. Yeah, sad story. Uh, tonight, a corrections spokeswoman says the handler of the dog is on paid administrative leave right now. Uh, Ariel Harrison joins us live from the Department of Corrections with the very latest on this story. Ariel. News of K-9 Loki's handler came after I submitted several questions to the Department of Corrections. I also asked if they had any additional information on how long Loki was in that vehicle before being found. Now, I also spoke with a former police chief who says while it appears the investigation is on the right track, what is most important is something like this doesn't happen again. And in this particular circumstance, well, Law enforcement failed. Retired Salt Lake Police Chief Chris Burbank doesn't hold back when it comes to canine officer Loki's death. Nine years with SLCPD, Burbank now spends his career reviewing police policy across the country. And hearing about this case, he's considering several factors. What is the circumstances that surrounded it? And really, you want to hold people accountable, right, for what went wrong. The Department of Public Safety is investigating Loki's death after the dog was found dead in a vehicle designed for canines on Thursday. The vehicle was parked on the Utah State Correctional Facility grounds near the kennel. Brian Redd is the executive director of the State Department of Corrections, where Loki served for six years. At a press conference Friday, Redd expressed sadness for the loss and a commitment to do better. We will work th through this. We'll, we'll learn from it and uh, we'll be better going forward. Today, we asked Red's team for updates in the investigation. They did confirm Loki's handler is on paid administrative leave. My other questions, where the investigation stands now, how long Loki was in the car, and if it was a mechanical or officer issue, were unanswered. The DOC only saying they've asked the State Bureau of Investigation to investigate, which is overseen by DPS. Having managed a number of canine teams over the years, Burbank acknowledges the unique bond between handler and pet. Could have I done something? Should have I done something? All those things, right? Second guessing. My heart really goes out to this individual because they've suffered a tremendous loss as well, and we shouldn't forget that. What do you think is a reasonable timeline for this investigation? Well, unfortunately, I believe that across the country we take way too long to investigate these circumstances. And when we look and we apply law enforcement to the public, those timelines are very narrow. So several weeks is about what I think is enough time to determine what took place. Now coming back out here for a live look, the Department of Corrections is holding its own internal review of policies surrounding the canine program here. Right now, I am told that handlers are permitted to leave canines in the vehicles, but only in safe environments. Reporting live from the Department of Corrections, Ariel Harrison, KUTV2 News.